Hello and welcome to the Old Gold and Black. It's day number 18, door number 18 on the Old Gold and Black Advent calendar this month of Nuno. If you want to suggest any for the last couple of days, then please put it in the comments section down below. Or if you've missed any of the series, then go back and have a look at them. But we're looking today at the FA Cup run and in particular, a particular match in the FA Cup run, and that was the quarter-final against Manchester United at Molyneux. I think lots of Wolves fans' all-time favourite home game, just because of how incredible the atmosphere was and how important the game was in terms of the FA Cup run. So Wolves had played against Liverpool in the third round. They played against Shrewsbury and Bristol City before facing up against Manchester United. We hadn't exactly burst our way through those games. We just about got through the Shrewsbury game in a replay. 1-0 against Bristol City, thanks to Ivan Cavallero. Lots of Wolves fans fancied us against what was a, a strong Man United team at that point. They'd come through some real tough tests in the Premier League really well. They'd just beaten PSG away from home as well. So they were on a real high under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I fancied us on this day and there's a couple of reasons why. So the first reason was when I was going to play five-a-side in the morning, I found a £20 note in the car. And then I played really well in five-a-side. And then I thought, with this £20 note, I'm going to put on bet on Wolves to win and both teams to score. And I did. And then I remember just having a, just getting emotional all through the day and thinking about Wolves winning and thinking... It would be crazy if Wolves won this game because we hadn't been in a quarter-final of the FA Cup since 2003 where we were a championship team playing against Southampton. We hadn't got to a semi-final since 1998 where we lost to Arsenal at Villa Park. Wolves haven't been a cup side in my lifetime really. I know that they have had cup runs in the past and they've won the cup, you know, 1960. But it was not like we were favourites or we were or anything. But going into that game, I did feel that Wolves could do something. Wolves could beat Man United. The way that we approached that game was superb. And just, again, to think of Nuno's philosophy and Nuno's strategy and tactics and everything like that, it all came to fruition in that 90 minutes. We kept United closed. They didn't have many chances at all. I think the best chance that Wolves had in the first half was Jota was through one and one but uh, Romero, their goalkeeper, did really well to smother him. And then the two goals, Jean Moutinho uh, providing the assist, kind of. He did all the hard work for Jimenez before Jimenez turned and shot uh, into the bottom corner to make it 1-0. And then Jota's goal, which I think is lots of people's favourite goal from last season, just the way that he bursts past Luke Shaw and then his stomp on the ground was out of this world. A goal that I love to watch over and over and over again, still now, you know, months later. The gloss of the game has not been taken off it by what happened in the semi-final. Thank you very much for watching today's video and let me know your memories from that game. Was there, did you have any omens that you thought, oh, I think Wolves are gonna win because of X, Y, and Z. But anyway, uh, that's enough from me. Thank you very much for watching and for supporting the channel and for maybe follow me on other things as well. Thank you very much. It's only a week to go until Christmas. Make sure you get all your shopping done, boys and girls. Okay, uh, right then, bye-bye. <laughs>